I came out here because I want my country back. Before the president even arrived to Nashville. We have a dictatorship. Demonstrators on both sides came out to let their voices be heard. We support the president, everything he's tried to do to get Congress to pass reform. He shouldn't even be in the office. He's not the president. We welcome President Obama and tell him that the immigrant community is welcoming him here in Tennessee. And a lot of strong opinions. That's a national disgrace by the press, as a matter of fact, because they have not followed up on this. They refuse to follow up on this. They've been carrying his water just like they'll be carrying Hillary Clinton's water. Inside McGavick High School, it was a much different story. On a typical day of the week, this area would look like your standard high school gymnasium. But today, the area has been completely transformed in anticipation of the President of the United States. I present to you the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Oh, it is good to be in Nashville. At the beginning of the president's speech, he addressed something that was on everyone's mind. But I, I also recognize uh, the past couple days have been hard. McGavick students are mourning the loss of classmate Kevin Barbie after he was killed just two days before the president's visit. Uh, some of you lost a good friend. Uh, so I want you to know that Michelle and I have been praying for all of you in the community, and I know that all of us are sending prayers uh, to those families. After that, the president focused mainly on education. The thing that I'm here to talk about right here, guaranteeing every young person access to a world-class education. Every single one. More specifically, McGavick High School. Now, the other day I heard uh, the story of a of a recent graduate here named uh, Sarah Santiago. I had a teacher that um, would mistreat me and told me that to not even think about high school or graduating or even making it a college. Um, so I gave up on teachers. And then she took a broadcasting class with a teacher named uh, Barclay Randall. He believed in me, he pushed me to do anything and everything that I could. The president explains that his dreams for education reach far into the future. Then we will keep the American dream alive, not just for your generation, but for generations to come. That's my goal. I hope it is yours too. Thank you, Nashville, for the great job. Thank you, Riders. I appreciate you. God bless you. President Obama gave a very enthusiastic speech, mainly focusing on education and singing the praises of Metro Nashville school system, and top Democrats in the state agreed. I think his message for the whole country was real positive. It's about focusing on our most precious asset, which is our youth, and, and focusing on the importance of education. That's a great message for the city of Nashville, it's a great message for our state, and it's a great message for the whole country. The president did an awesome job. He paid Tennessee the ultimate compliment to come here and brag on our educational improvement. we got a long way to go, but we're making progress. From McGavick High School, for MT10 News. It's a great day for Nashville and a real honor that he was here. I'm Chris Davis. And we've got a...